Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the home screen tricks on Motorola Moto G86 Power. Okay, so let's begin. To open up the home screen settings, simply hold on your home screen. And that's all. Uh, in here we can, for example, quickly change themes. Just like that. Same thing with the fonts. You can pick between one of those. For example, I'll pick the last one, and now it has been changed. Uh, okay, now from here we can go straight into the widgets, and we can create a widget from uh, all of those apps that are right in here on that list. So, for example, let's create a new widget of maybe TikTok, because why not? Uh, maybe that one. Click on Add, and now, as you can see, appeared. It appeared right now on our home screen on the place where I have selected. And now we have quick access into our TikTok. Of course, you can create any other widget that you want. If you want to remove it, simply hold on it, select it onto the remove, release your finger, and now it has been removed. Also, let's add another one, maybe the Chrome, maybe that one, click on add, and now it appears right now on our home screen. Of course, we can change position anywhere that we want. I mean, you also need to have enough space for it, but you always find some place. Okay, as we hold in back again, we can, for example, also create the widgets. <laughs> My bad, sorry. <laughs> we can open up the wallpaper settings. Uh, and in here we can uh, enable the lock screen and also add effects to it such as zoom, sway, ripple, snow, rain, or the AI zoom. We can stylize it with some uh, filters or something like that, as you can see. And as you click on others, we can select on none, we can select the blur, or change the brightness. Uh, also, you can create a new wallpaper by clicking, uh, by choosing from photos, dynamic, or the curated images. Uh, also, we can enable the live lock screen. Uh, to do it, open up the mm, settings, click on personalize. Uh, it's under the lock screen, no, not in here. Uh, I think when I'll type uh, live lock screen, okay. Well, it's like the app. Wait a second. Uh, it should be in here. Yeah, in the display, I think. Yeah, and here we have the, also the uh, live lock screen. And thanks to that, we can uh, enable the changing wallpapers. Mm. It's basically like the uh, wallpaper carousel. So the wallpapers will be changing. Okay, back into the home screen. Hold in. We can also click on personalize. And here we can also change the themes. And I was showing you that because we had a, a shorter way to it. We have those themes that we can select. Also, we can change the colors of our system. Right in here. Or we can create a new one. And if you want, you can enable the themed icon. You can see the difference. If you want to save, hit the button. And that's all. Same thing with the icon shape. We can change it. You can see the difference right now on the screen. If you have picked the one that you want, click on save. And now it's done. We can also mm, select the... I was showing you the fonts, my bad. And now that I wanted to show you the mm, display and text size. So we can change the font size and adjust it into your preferences and also the display size of the icons. If you want, you can also enable the bold text and it's now it's simply bigger. And also use the high contrast text. If you want to reset settings, simply click on reset. And now everything went into the original settings. And next to it we have the layout. Uh, we have a lot of modes, as you can see. So we have 4 on 6, 5 on 7, 5 on 6, 5 on 5, 4 on 7, 3 on 4, 
four on four and four on five. So mm, if uh, the if you pick the smaller uh, layout, you won't uh, have many icons uh, on your home screen, but they will be uh, they will be simply bigger. So you can pick between the mode that you like the most. I'll stick to the standard one. Uh, and also uh, you can click and hold right in here to see a preview. Okay, now let's go with the fingerprint animation. And uh, we have three modes that we can set. Is the radio waves, boomerang or the chroma dial. You can now see the difference on the screen. For now I'll pick that one and I'll show you how it works. Let's place our finger on the sensor, boom, and now we had our new animation. So I'll pick that one. Uh, when it comes to the sounds, you can in here quickly change your uh, notifications. And there was other thing that I wanted to change, but uh, suddenly it disappeared. Uh, so give me a second. Home settings. Okay, in here we also can change the home screen style. It can be the app tray already open. You can also change the app label between two rows, one row or don't show. We can also lock home screen layout, so the icons and the videos will be locked in place and we won't be able to uh, change the layout. Okay, uh, I'm wondering when the where one thing disappeared that I want to show you. Uh, maybe it was the lock screen. Yeah, click on uh, customize the lock screen and, and in here when you click you can change the notification style. It can be bubble, chip or the list. You can also change the clock phases. For example that one. And also uh, you can create a new shortcut. So for example I'll pick the chrome. Boom. And for the second one, maybe the flashlight. So now, when we are in our uh, lock screen, when I click right in here, and I, when I use my fingerprint, the Chrome launches immediately. And now, with let's try with the flashlight. And here we need to simply tap. And as you can see, the flashlight launched, and now it turns off. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.